Now we do actually have a training video on creating feedback forms already. However, I will do a very quick demo on that because it's a very important part of your business. Whether you're running courses, coaching programs, maybe you're running like a beta test program for a course, maybe you are teaching face to face and you, you want some kind of feedback. I would definitely recommend creating feedback forms for that, that I would link with a QR code on the slides as an example. But what you can do here is simply in websites and funnels, go to forms, go to form builder. I might have a feedback form example in here at the moment. And of course, I would use ChatGPT to help me come up with the questions first. So that's always going to be a starting point. Let's go and create a new chat here. I am running a three day boot camp and I would love you to create a short feedback form that's going to capture really great testimonials from people as well as give me ideas for improvement. Please make this a Likert scale form where people can rate each question from a scale of one to ten. So here's an example of how we could create a really detailed form. Now, I love what's called Likert scales. That's spelt L-I-K-E-R-T, if you've never heard of a Likert scale before. I really love these for gathering feedback on anything because it gives you a much better idea as to people's progression. If you give them this form at the beginning of a coaching program, and give it to them again at the end, you can actually measure whether the course has helped them improve. And this is this becomes amazing marketing material. Because if you know you can shift people even one degree to the right, your marketing literally says 100% of our students have seen an improvement in their X when joining my course. And you have the actual evidence to back that up. So this is really good and corporates love this. If you're ever doing any training in the corporate space, this is also really good for you to be able to prove to that corporate, hey, here's actually the assessment comparing their beginning to their end. And as you can see, we've got an 89% success rate in improvement in this particular area. They are going to rebook you when they see that evidence. So to do these kinds of little assessments, of course, you can have any kind of question that you can imagine. They can be as big as you want. Let's call this particular form feedback form for XYZ webinar okay, or XYZ course. Okay. Now we again can pull over all our titles and things like that. But what we want to do here is understand that over in this quick ad section, you've only got really generic stuff. Yeah, like addresses and phone numbers and like really generic information. We do not obviously have a standard field for how would you rate the quality of the content presented during the boot camp? <laughs> right? That question doesn't exist in the system. So what you need to do is create that question. You're going to go into your form builder and instead of being on the quick add section, click on custom fields and you're going to add a custom field. Let's put this in. Yep. Add a custom field. And we want to create a let's do radio select. You'll see what I mean in a second. You'll be able to see the choice. So the question is field name. This is the question. How would you rate the quality of the boot? Okay. I'm going to say option number one is one not very good add an option number two is just rated two add an option number three let's just do it up to number five for now but i would recommend you going up to 10 because it does give you a bit more variety around like actual honest comparison data now fyi you can add these little icons to your selections i'm not going to do that i'm just going to leave them as they are let's show what happens oh group means where do you want to add this information to in the client record Please, for feedback forms, select additional info. What this means is when you go to, let's pretend I'm a customer in your system, in your database, when you click on Sarah Cordner's name, it will open up Sarah Cordner's personal profile. On the front page of Sarah Cordner's profile, it's all her contact information and all her tags. That's this stuff over here. You don't want all these questions showing up right on the front page because every time you're scrolling through my basic contact data, you're going to have to scroll through all these data fields. Okay, so just always add it to additional info that just moves this kind of data to the back page of my customer record rather than being right at the front in all my contact information. So we're going to press save. Okay, and that was called how would you rate? We've got to just give it a second to I always press save. We've got to give the system a second to get this question in here. How would you rate? Where is it? How would you rate? There it is. Oh, no, it was the quality, wasn't it? How would you rate the quality of camp? Boom. So now we've got those options. See how that's worked? 
we've made the question and then we had to go and find the question and drag it over. So again, let's do one more example with this. Let's say we want to keep them all those radio boxes, those little circle boxes. Let's go to ChatGPT and see what our next question was. How well did the sessions meet your expectations? Okay, let's go and add a question for that. We're going to choose a radio select and press next. The name is the actual question. The group we're putting it in is additional info and our options are one, not very good. And remember, we want to keep the wording and the language exactly the same so that they all look the same. Okay, three, four and five was excellent. Sweet, press save. Okay, I always press save again just because I want that question to just make sure it's saved in the system. How well did the sessions meet your expectations? So how well did the sessions there it is drag and drop Ta -da! so that is a demonstration of how you can create feedback forms fyi when you press this ding dong bell on the top left hand side you can actually turn on automated notifications to yourself and also auto reminder auto responders to the actual person who filled it in saying here's a copy of what you sent us so that ding dong bell is your notification settings. Of course, you can also use your workflows to manage alerts as well. So one of the things that I do is I have everything I do, I have a workflow for. So I'd have a workflow for the student feedback form for the XYZ course, which would tag them to say, Sarah has filled in the feedback form. Here is a copy of Sarah's results. Thank you so much for filling in the feedback form email goes out, right? So you're going to, again, make sure you have a workflow so that you're tagging everybody and have all your notifications and client things happening.